fact that somebody thought of me and said, I, I want to give this girl a scholarship. I believe in this girl and I want to give her a scholarship. That is so surreal to me. I didn't come into high school super confident. I think that's something that DSHA has given me a voice. Coming in as a freshman, I was very shy, just didn't want to like talk to anyone. And so DSHA has really um, brought me out of my shell, so to speak. And can you I'm a first generation student and definitely the struggles that my parents have faced and have reminded me about why dreams are so important. My parents inspired me to want to make education the most important part of my life and it is. Being able to come to a school like DSHA was just a dream in itself. July of 2012, I was diagnosed with cutaneous T cell lymphoma. The texts, the emails, the pictures I received from DSHA, I felt just love pure love when I walked through those doors. They were just willing to embrace my story, embrace who I am, and lead me through my next four years here. Uh, scholarships are so important to me because um, I get to go here, and that's huge. Without that, I don't know where I'd be right now. Because I think being in a community of, of women, I've never felt more confident when I see all these people around me and I know that in some countries girls aren't even allowed to get an education. I know that we have this gift to go out in the world and really make a difference. Every girl that goes here makes the school unique. It makes our experience our experience. And that's what's most important I think in this community to feel like your voice is important and you can say whatever you need to say to feel comfortable but also lift up other people in their in their ideas. And it's not about where you come from or who your parents are. It's about who you are and who you're willing to be. It's um, a unique community, um, a diverse community and without scholarships that wouldn't be possible. Without the incredible academic opportunities and experiences I've had, um, experiences in the arts as well, like I don't know where I'd be right now. DS definitely had built me up so I had the confidence to try new things. And not only am I loving the education that I get, but I also can utilize it to make the world a better place. The influence of campus ministry here at school and the fact that there's so many ways to experience faith and grow in my faith. My faith life has definitely grown because of just the sisterhood in general. I feel, I feel comfort and I feel love and the love is God. Investment in DSHA is investment in growing young women to being confident, capable people, running businesses, running organizations, at one point hopefully curing cancer. I really appreciate what the donors are doing. I have learned so much from DSHA. I've seen myself grow so much. Helping other people is really what drove me to want to be a physician. I was able to go to Washington DC and meet the president and I also participated in a lot of different leadership summits that was really beneficial to me in DS helping me to find to find my voice. Just the dreams that my parents had just made me want to have my own big dreams and I do now. I'm going into nursing. Being able to speak in front of a crowd, being able to stand tall with my beliefs and be who I am, being comfortable with who I am. That's that's what a scholarship has done for me. The thrill that knowing that there's people who support me and want me to thrive and want me to be successful in my future, that just, it opens my heart so much. I can't express how thankful I am. A scholarship really does benefit everyone. Because they help me hone not only my own voice, but they also help Tatiana, Amy, Maddie, Cookie, Tamia. We become one voice, the voice of DSHA.